Greetings once again fellow gaming fans and welcome to another episode of Miss Survival. I'm Small Archangel, thank you for joining me today. Um, and we have a car. Finally, finally, finally we have a car. Just a little bit of lag there, I'm not quite sure where that came from. And we are going to see if we can find uh, some bear meat. We're going to go hunting a bear and I'm going to hope that it works as well as it did the last time. Now, this car might look like an off-roader, but we found out in the last episode it's not that great off-road in actual point of fact. It could be quite easy to drive it off a cliff, into a lake, or get it stuck between two trees like a fool. And I'm not really wanting to do that because... Uh, it took me ages to get this together, and it's also got a boot full of uh, other car components, which uh, I should probably put somewhere else in case I lose this. But I know that I saw a bear somewhere around here. The flaming things are everywhere, let's face it. Um, so it shouldn't take us too much difficulty, so too much time to find one. Um, there is one, but I know kind of where it is. Um back up towards the road i kind of feel a bit more comfortable driving the, the car on the road it may be an off-roader but it's actually quite difficult to uh to drive and quite difficult to see where you're going as well especially when the road goes veering upwards and downwards which it does quite a lot and i'm fairly sure i saw i saw a bear down here so we've gone past the garage now so we're going farther down the road than i think we've been before um, and actually, whoa, what the hell just happened? My car just totally drove itself backwards in reverse really, really quickly. And I've no idea how. Turn off, brake. Oh my goodness. Okay, so a little bit strange there. Oh, look, there's a spare engine. And a spare spark plug. So we're going to need these. I don't know how long the components are likely to take. Uh, to to last and I also want to fill the can here we go there we are lovely okay good and we'll see if there's anything in the trunk too oh my because we haven't been this far before down this road okay I'll put those in there that I will leave because I found so many components everywhere really they're just two a penny our car is hovering ever so slightly but I'm not going to let that worry me too much and let's just... Oh, there's a bear over there. Now, what we need is not just a bear, because the flaming things are dangerous. We need a bear, and we need somewhere that we can kite it into, because we've only got an axe, really, to hit it in the face with. So what we need is a shack that we can kite it to, and then we can hit it from inside the shack, which is what I did last time. But without a, a, a distance weapon, I really don't have the choice of doing anything else. Not safely. And I was a spare tyre there. Goody. And this. Oh, we've got some more bandages, which is always nice. There we go. Anything in the, under the bonnet here. Another spark plug. Will that stack? I have no idea. No. Oh. Okay, I just switched the darn things over, which is not what I meant at all. There we go. And we'll do this, and I will hope that while I'm doing this, I don't get eaten by a bear. Alright, there we are. Goody. All right. So, is there around here anywhere that I can kite the bear to? It doesn't look like it, does it? It does not look like it. I need a bear near to a shack. So, that is not happening because I don't want to die. Bears are very, very dangerous. So, we'll just keep going until we can find something that looks like a workable circumstance. Oh, I didn't even bother opening the door. That was interesting. I think for realism's purposes, next time I will actually open the door. Now, is there, is there a building over there? I can't honestly tell because the, the window's so dirty. And there's another drivable car there. And now there's definitely a building down here. We'll go and check this out. I'm not sure if this is the white building that we found before. It may be. It may be, actually. Uh, yeah, because the door's open. So we know we've been here. Oh, now there is a bear, though. There is a bear, and I'm just wondering if I'm going to be able... Let's turn the engine off and get out. Maybe I'm going to be able to kite the thing back to this house. Be good if we could. All right. Uh, because I don't think he's going to get in the door. So if we can get through the door... 
we can save ourselves. Now, where are you, bear? He's way, way, way over there. Now, I'm just going to need to get close enough that he sees me, which isn't that close, I don't think, and then run like mad. Oi, bear! Oi, bear! This is a really dangerous thing to do. Oh, he's, he, you know what, he's too far away. I've got, I've got too far then to get back to the house. I'm going to end up dead if I do that, I think. So that's annoying. Unless he comes back this way, that is going to feel like too much of a risk, really. Look at this tree in the middle of the path. If I had an arrow, see, I could shoot him in the bum and uh, attract his attention from afar, from a safe distance. But I don't, so I can't do that. There is, however, another building over there which I may or may not have may or may not have explored and it may or may not be closer to the bear oh gosh which i've now lost sight of losing sight of a bear is not a good idea because he'll see me from blooming miles away okay all right we may have been here before or we may not have there's nothing there. Oh, and there's... Yes, we have been there before. Because that's where there's infected. Inside the shack. Okay, so back to the White House. Where is the bear? I still can't see him. This is not a good circumstance. Okay, well, this one at least has got some fuel in it. So we'll have that. And... Maybe we'll take that spark plug too. And I still don't know where the wretched bear is. And then I am going to put some of these items back in here. There we go. Spare engine, not duct tape, and a spare wheel. There we are. And that gives me a bit more space. But no sign of this bear. He seems to have despawned. Let's just hope he doesn't respawn between me and safety or anything silly like that oh he's over there he's over there okay we should probably try this just because nothing ventured I mean it is dangerous but there he is he's running after me now oh holy crud can I please go faster no no I can't he's going to rip me a new one I know he is crap He'll stop following me. That's the only. That's the other danger, is that I'll get back here and he's stopped and he's gone back again. Okay, they only chase you for so far, which is a little bit of a pain. But where is he now? Can I get his attention again? Not if he's gone all the way back to where he started. Yeah, this is a downer. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to give up on this place. I think. So, let's try this again. Oh, engine. We'll go back the way we came. Up towards the road. And we'll see if we can find something else. Okay, there's a caravan off the other side. And there's definitely something going on here. We've got buildings and all sorts, so... Oh no! My car's doing a fast reverse thing again. That is definitely a bug, because what I'm actually trying to do is turn the engine off. I turn the engine off and the car flies backwards, which is a little bit disturbing, I have to say. Oh, now there's other parts here as well. But I want to fill a can. There we go. And I will take another battery. And another engine. There we go. And then we'll check out what other stuff we can find around here. Okay, have another engine and another battery. And we've got so many spark plugs, it's untrue. There we go. All right. So we've got a lot of vehicles around here. We've got a little campsite over there as well. So I'm going to just go and check that out. I will just check in the trunks of these cars. Nice. We definitely need the food. And that. There we are. Uh, do we need food at this point? We need to drink. That's for sure. Our hunger's not too bad, actually. 
at this point, but it will be before long, I dare say. If I can't get myself a bag myself a bear. Oh, look, beef can. Super. That's just what we needed. Oh, now I haven't got many of those. What's that? Circuit board? Electronic parts. So that's super. Bottle, branch, open. Some nails. We'll have those as well. Metal scraps, wood. We can put some of these things into our um, uh, into our car, of course, to prevent us from having to carry them ourselves. And there's some suitcases here also, which we can't put in a car, unfortunately. We can't pick those up and put them in a car. There's no, another battery. Okay. So I'm not sure whether we need quite this many batteries, actually. I might just... Oh, look. There's another gas can. That is nice. I will definitely put the gas can in the back of the car. That much is for sure. Oh, and there is the end of the road. So that's like a big log. So that is going to be the end of the road. It's a big sort of log. Um, it's blocked off. So I'm guessing that's kind of the end of the game world. Right, we're going to put this gas can, the spare gas can, in the back there. That one's got nothing in it. And is there anything else we could put in there as well? Well, we've got a couple of full sets of metal scraps there, metal parts. And I'm going to put some of these other items in here as well. Full stacks of things, and things are probably not likely to find again. There we go. All right, let's have a little check out of these these buildings here. So there's an old signboard there. Um, seems to be a little bit more colour variation in all these vehicles now. Let's just open. Oh look, there's a bit more food. I can't say no to food or ammunition, although heaven only knows we don't currently have. Um, a gun that we can fire at any of this ammunition out of. There's nothing in the trunk of that one. Or in that was another spark plug, but we've got loads of them, to be honest. There's no fuel in that one. Hammer. We've got a hammer. Oh, look, there's a bar. A food bar. Oh, and there's a 100% knife. I will have the 100% knife, definitely. And there's no fuel in that one either. Alrighty, so we've got some sort of tenement building here by the look of it. Um, we are definitely, oh, look at that, lovely. Let's fill the can. I don't know how many litres this can fills, holds, but yeah, what's it going in at 9.27 now? We should probably put that into our car, shouldn't we? There's a load of scrap here. Oh, this is loot-tastic, I'm sure. Uh, what's that? Pick up wood scrap. Yeah, we've got a few of those and metal scraps. And there's a truck here with the back doors open. With nothing in it, Dan. What a shame. And then there's some sort of wall out the back there as well. And I'm just listening for infected. Because you never know when you might find those in buildings. Okay, check out, make sure there's nothing that we can pick up here. And I can't hear any infected, so we should be all right. There's, we can't look in that or in that. That door is kind of blocked. There's a suitcase. Ah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes. There are obviously going to be finite cans of food around the world. I don't think it respawns. I wouldn't expect it to respawn anyway. We can't look in the ice box. There's a spare wheel there, look. Very nice, thank you very much. Um, so I wouldn't expect the food to respawn, therefore I would expect to have to... Oh, there's another one, nice. Uh, what is that? Pick up hunting arrow. Hmm, don't mind if I do. Not that I've got a bow to put it in yet, because I don't. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of expecting to have to make my own food, really. Uh, oh, look, another electronic... Po oh, we can't pick it up. Too much crap. Okay, far too much crap. Back to the car then, which is wherever way back here so put some more stuff in the car this is the other good thing about having a, a vehicle of course is that you can stick things in it okay here we go so i'm gonna put a couple of wheels in there of course there we are and then i will put now these are still stacking so i'll leave those where they are the hunting arrow i'll put that in there those bullets in there as well 
Okay, that'll do for the minute. So, what did we find over here that I couldn't pick up? Okay, now we've got the electronic parts. There's nothing in that suitcase. I could take it with me, I suppose. But, uh, don't know. We've got quite a bit of storage. We haven't got enough storage. Oh, there's another one. Another hunter arrow. Oh, super. Okay. Of course, the further afield we go, the more likely we are to get shot in the head by bandits, which is not cool either. Uh, really, what I need is to make myself um, some decent weapons and what have you. There's another battery there, but it's not in very good state, so we'll just leave it where it is. Oh, gear. Nice. And look, boots. Boots 100% as well. Can I wear them? Please. Equipment. Yay, boots. There we go. Now we're wearing a t-shirt and some boots but presumably the more equipment we have the better protected we are and maybe the faster we can move etc so I don't know what adv advantage that's going to come for but it's going to have to make some sort of difference to us maybe we can move quicker now I don't know I don't think we can get up there can we to the uh, upper floor because I think that the door leading that way was kind of blocked yeah we can't go that way so shame uh, maybe we just need to take the car a little bit further down the road. I still want to hunt a bear, but it does have to have the right circumstances because I'm not going to have a bow until the bear guts we got last time have dried. Um, and even then, I'm not quite sure how much, how many guts one needs or whether we'll have enough to make it. So we do need to hunt another bear. All right, here we go. Let's just... Oof, just about get through there. See what we can find further down this road. I'll check the time as well. Just keep an eye on the time because we don't want to be stuck out here in the dark, really. And I don't know if this is the same road as we saw previously. When we're on top. There we are. On top of somewhere we may have been up there when we saw this that i thought it was a kind of a turnpike with an awful lot of stalled traffic on it oh look sewing kit they can be pretty useful for making things uh no fuel oh two food bars yes i'm actually going to eat one of those because it's a good idea five eat so our hunger's going down a little bit and they're better for restoring hunger than uh, than the cans of fruit are. No, f no fuel in that one. Does this truck have anything in the back? It does not. All logs, it's looted. I could get the car past here if I wanted to. Let's just see what the time is. 16.02. Okay, so we've got to watch out for the time. But I just want to see what's down here. Some sort of structure here? Oh my, what is this? Wow, I don't actually know. A big... Ah, I don't know what this is. This looks military to me, but we can't actually get in there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Can I have a torch, please? It's a little bit dark, but yes, this is absolutely some sort of military thing, I think. Which I'm hoping no infected have got into. Oh, my word. What have we found? Don't know, but I can't get in, can I? This is as far as we're going. That is shut. Oh my goodness, this looks intriguing. So this is some sort of bunker. Um, which we can't get in. Authorised personnel only. Yes, well, I dare say I'm not authorised personnel. But heck, that looks like we should be able to get in there. There's kind of a crack down the side of that door. But I don't know how. Maybe we have to do something to kind of bring the power back on to, hey, a girl can dream. That is awesome. Wow, I want, I want to live in a bunker. Yes, <laughs> definitely. All right. Oh, 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 person, person. I'm not sure. Am I trusting this person? Are they going to shoot me in the head? Well, if he was going to, he would have already, right? Shoot. Sure. Ah, no, he is shooting at me. Okay, not as observant as a bear, but I'm getting out of here. Okay, so that is a bandit, I'm assuming. 
and I absolutely don't want to be killed by him at this point. So I'm glad I parked the car a little distance back. Okay, he's not coming after me, but there must be some fairly decent... Whoa, that was a spin and a half. There must be some fairly decent loot in that direction now, because if there wasn't, he wouldn't have been guarding it. Always that game logic. Uh, there has to be there has to be some reason for there to be... Uh... Oh, now the, the road splits in two here, doesn't it? Well, we ought to go to do the responsible thing and get back to base, really, shouldn't we? Uh, and I think that was in this direction. Hell's bells, I'm not sure now. It may have been in the opposite direction. Gosh, why can't I have a map? I need a map. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I've got the right way here. Uh-oh. And I've just hit a car. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got, uh, I've got a lot of loot here, so I don't want to lose it. And if we go past the garage, we have. Yeah, I've gone the right way. But the road forks there, so is that the right garage, the same garage? Yes, it is, but with a tractor by it. Okay, that's fine. And then we just need to get past this car. Wow! I think I just hit a bollard and nearly went flying. All right, so car mechanics a little bit strange. Just want to be a little bit careful with it because I don't quite trust the car not to take off and fly through the air. All right, back to base we go. And I want to see how dried, how well dried my uh, my bear guts are as well, because uh, I want to make that bow. This is a bit of essential kit that I'm still lacking at this point. It really is. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to park the car over here, kind of ish where it was before, just because. No, don't go backwards. I said turn off the engine. And space bar. Oh my. Okay, there we are. No. I said turn off the engine. Thank you. Now stop. Oh my word, how strange. Right, we've got a can here. We want to fill the tank. There we go. Oh my gosh, what was that? It's a shadow going across me. How awful. Right, there we are. And there's an awful lot of stuff here. They've got stuff in the back of the car as well. We probably want to transfer. Um, but, oh, now, do these stack? They darn should, should do, shouldn't they? There we go. Yes, they do. I don't like the way those wind turbines, the shadows just shoot straight over my head really fast. We've got uh, quite a bit of food and things. We've got a couple of gears now, which means that we may be in a position to upgrade our workbench. I'm not sure, but that's certainly something we want to do. I can't remember exactly what. This is still distilling. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. 3.52 litres. This is all right. How are these doing? 42%. 42%. So that's going to take a little, a little bit longer to do. They're not even half done yet. We've got another gear in here. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to put, oh, we definitely need some more storage space. Look at this. It's crazy. It's all used up. Okay, so we're going to see what it takes to upgrade our workbench. I've got some components and things with me, but I don't honestly know quite. I can't remember exactly what it takes. We, I know we need two gears, but I don't know what else we need. So we're just going to find out. Um, yeah, upgrade... Ah, lockpick upgrade workshop. Yes, but how do we upgrade the workshop? Click gear to upgrade. Ah, we have everything we need. Oh, we don't have everything we need. Eight out of ten timber. Ah, we actually need more metal scraps and we need more timber. Okay, good. Just so long as I know. We have both of those back at base, so we'll go and get those. And then we will upgrade that. Okay, here we go. Upgrade will take 60 minutes till 7 p.m. We're pushing it again, but not too much this time as long as the mist doesn't descend. We haven't had any mist this day, actually, which is quite something. There we go. We are now at level two, which is very nice. What can we make that we couldn't make before? Can we make we can make lights? We can make clothes. This is nice. We already have a boots, boots and T-shirt. Ah, there we go. Look, walk speed increased 5%. That is nice. We do like that. Bow, long bow. We need two dried animal guts. Well, we've got two drying. Uh, and then 
sticks and lashing okay so we're gonna have to make some lashing and i'm fairly sure i know how to make that now because you make it out of bark small animal trap okay if we get some nails and some duct tape we can make ourselves a trap um lock pick or we can make a lock pick can i make one yeah let's make one because then we can get through doors that is nice all right at least we've got a chance of getting through a door crowbar ah now we can make a crowbar also uh I'm going to do that in spite of the fact that I really haven't got that much space uh, to carry them. And then I'm going to get the heck back to base before we end up in trouble. There we are. Okay, I think what we need is some storage next to this workbench so that we're able to uh, put items. Uh, where, yeah, we've got things that we need next to the bench, literally where we, we need them right there. So let's just have a look in here and see if there's anything. There's some more timber there. There's some nails. Uh, some of this stuff I should be able to put away. But that I've got stack of already. Okay, and the rest we're just going to have to leave where they are for the time being because it's getting extremely dark. Okay, so this is turned on but is not actually doing anything, right? Because it does need to be wired up to something, I'm pretty certain. Okay, there we go. So I'll shut that. Um, we need... We're going to make some small traps, I think. In the next episode, we're definitely going to make some traps because... Uh, oh, look at that. I need to drink something. We're going to make some traps uh, so that we can catch, hopefully, some chickens. We don't even have to just eat them. We can use those chickens then to... Um, we can breed them or we can keep them at least. I'm not sure quite how that works, but we'll give it a go because if we can breed them, then we don't actually need to catch them any longer. But we'll probably need some sort of pen for that. Uh, and that's probably going to be in here, isn't it? Traps, we can't make out of our own inventory. Beds, we can, but again, we're going to need the space for that. Uh, construction small cabin, well, we're already living in one of those. Tanning rack, we probably need a tanning rack, actually. We're going to need to make some more lashings, actually. So that's what I should probably focus on doing overnight. I should probably get these. I should put away whatever I can, uh, and I shall focus on making some lashings because that's going to be kind of useful for us. Okay, so for lashings, we need leaves, and we need eight leaves. So actually, I'm going to need more leaves than we've currently got. But right now, I can't actually see my hand in front of my face. So now is not the time to do that. So we'll have to gather some leaves and some bark and make ourselves some more lashings so that we can craft various things. Animal traps, we're going to need that for our longbow as well. Um, but for now, I think it looks like our fatigue has gone to the floor again. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to make a bit more space in my inventory by eating this can of food. Uh, and then we are going to sleep for the night. And then in the next episode, we will look for some leaves and bark, make some lashings. And we'll perhaps have another try at, uh, at a bear because it's still going to be a while before we can get... We'll make some traps. I think that's what we'll do. We'll make some traps and see if we can catch some chickens. But once we get a bow, we're going to be in a much better position, position to kill... Um, infected and get ourselves into that farmhouse where we'll have a lot more storage capacity and that's going to make life uh, so much easier so there you go folks we're going to call this an episode here i'm going to sleep the night away and uh yeah when then in the next episode as i say we will we will continue uh with uh, getting some making some traps uh getting some uh lashings made as well and just see where we go from here but uh i'm really hoping that before too much longer we're going to have a bow in our hands and some arrows um and and, uh, and then the game's going to kind of open out in front of us. Uh, we've got our car now, but uh, it's not the cure-all that it might be. There's not much point in venturing out into the world with those bandits if we don't have some way of defending ourselves. Once we do gain access to the farmhouse and have a bigger space to us well, ourselves as well, we're going to have to defend that against uh, missed events, uh, against possibly bandit raids um, and just about everything. So we're going to have to be barring up windows and um, putting fences down and all all the rest of that good stuff so i hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have let me know by hitting that like button and also feel free to leave me your comments and your hints and tips i'm still a bit of a noob here but i don't have time to play the game off camera to really work out um what's going on and besides which you can only have one save so it really means jiggling about the save save files which is, there's always a risk that you'll lose uh lose one or the other as well um and i hope you'll join me next time or check out what else is on the channel so till then keep gaming Keep surviving and stay happy. Bye-bye for now.